539, we have a warning from Akron police after a woman was carjacked in her own driveway. Uh, the victim in her 50s was warming up her car. She says a thief pushed her out of the way, took off in the vehicle. News 5's Bob Jones spoke with police about the search for the suspect and what they want all drivers to keep in mind this time of year. These are people preying on people, unsuspecting people, uh, so no one deserves it in any context. It happened in broad daylight around 3 p.m. Friday in the area of 14th Street and Silvercrest, part of Akron's Kenmore neighborhood. A 57-year-old woman warming up her car to get ice off the windows was standing with her car when she was suddenly pushed away by a stranger who then jumped in the car and took off. Lieutenant Michael Miller says the victim wasn't hurt, but very shaken up. These things are always reminders of the disappointment that we feel when someone chooses to victimize someone minding their own business, right? Lieutenant Miller says because force was used, the crime is considered a carjacking, and if detectives are able to track down the carjacker, he will be charged with robbery. That force being pushed out of the way, she didn't have to be injured or, uh, you know, or worse, but if any type of force is used to commit that, that's why it's considered a robbery in that case. The next day, police found the car abandoned, less than a quarter mile away in this church parking lot but the carjacker remains on the loose, adding more stress to a scary situation for the victim. We want her to know this victim or victims like her that um, we feel the brunt of that and we bear a responsibility to uh, ease some of that anxiety that she may feel from that. Uh, and no better way to do that is to capture a person that did it. And while police search for that carjacker, they're also sending a warning. I think these are truly uh, crimes of opportunity. While this woman was with her car, police also typically see a rise in stolen cars in the winter when people warm them up and leave them unattended. Miller understands why so many of us do that, but stressed owners need to elevate their awareness. I would ask folks to just be cautious, be mindful, kind of before they go out, kind of survey this situation, see who's coming or going, what do they see, and maybe the, all of that collectively would contribute to um, this type of thing not happening to them. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.